Hey everybody, welcome back to the next edition of Grilling with Granddaddy Daddy. Today, we got a whole bunch of stuff going on on the grill. I told y'all in the introduction we grill a lot around here, and we do. So what we got going on today is, let me see if I can show y'all. What we got today is we got us a pork chop, which I hadn't seasoned yet. Garnet the Greyhound's going to get her some chicken breasts. And then Mrs. Cooking with Granddaddy Daddy, she's going to get her turkey leg because that's her favorite. She loves them turkey legs. So, what we're going to do is I'll put the, the chicken breasts on first because that's for the dog and we don't season that. That's, she gets that just grilled. Um, then what we'll do is we'll put on the, the pork chop. And we'll put the turkey leg on. And that's pretty much where we're going to be. Yes, sir. Ain't nothing like running a restaurant right here in your kitchen. So here's what we're going to do. This is the way I'm going to season up this pork chop. I'm going to put me some white pepper on here. Then I'm going to put me some cayenne pepper on here because we got to have cayenne pepper. We love some cayenne pepper in this house. About everything I cook going to have cayenne pepper on it. So we'll put some cayenne pepper on there. Then we're going to put a little garlic and salt on there. Then we're going to put a little black pepper on there. Then we're going to put a little garlic powder on there because we, we like some garlic powder too. And then the last thing we're going to do, we're going to put just a little bit of salt on there. All right, we're gonna pat that. Now we're gonna flip him over. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, we're gonna put us a little bit of white pepper on there. We're gonna put some garlic powder on there. I do different order every time. You know, don't never know, but all the same stuff goes on there. Then we're gonna have some cayenne pepper. Got to get some Get some red color going on there. And this ain't a real big pork chop because it's just, this is a small cook day. Next time I do a cook, the next cooking video will be a Boston butt. That'll be a fun video. All right, so we're gonna pat that down. We're gonna let this stuff rest for a little while. Let them spices kick in and then We'll go to the grill. All right, now we're out here at the grill. Let's get this fire going. Let's see about cooking for all these critters that live around this house. Me and Mrs. Granddaddy Daddy and Garnet the Greyhound. Now Garnet the Greyhound will not eat all that chicken tonight. What happens is her mama cuts that stuff up for her and she gets a little bit of chicken breast meat as a treat from time to time. So don't y'all worry about little Miss Garnet eating four chicken breasts all in one meal. Alrighty, now we out here at the grill. We got the, got the fire going in our kick-ass basket. And let me tell you, I love that kick-ass basket. This is not a paid promotion because I'm just getting this channel started, but I love that thing. So now I'm putting in my egg expander. It's also got my, uh, my plate setter in there. Okay, it's really much, it's really much big, big I know that. Anyway, I just forgot. Um, when I cook the chicken for Garnet the Greyhound, what I always do is use the egg expander because it lets me get everything raised up a little bit further. And when I do that, I cook it on that top grate right there. Gets it a little bit further away from the from the fire. Gets it up there in the in the chimney. And we're going to let that smoke die, die down a little bit, and then we're going to throw that chicken on there. All right. All right, now that we got our coals good and hot, we're going to put Garnet the Greyhound's chicken on the top shelf of the egg spanner of the big green egg. Now, I do have two separate pairs of tongs that I'll use for my cooking today. The reason for that is I don't want to cross-contaminate pork chop and the, well, the turkey really don't matter because it's just 
poultry anyway. Don't want to cross contaminate the chicken, the raw chicken, and my pork chop. And later on, after this gets cooking a little bit, what I will do is I'll bring the pork chop out and the turkey leg, and we'll go ahead and put them on the grill. But for now, we're gonna shut this down, and we're gonna run this thing up to about 300 degrees and cook garnet greyhounds chicken. All right, let's check, see how things are looking here. Port top looking good. Coming on along. Turkey leg looking good, coming on along. We'll check back in a little bit. All right, the turkey leg is looking good. It's done got nice and crispy. So what we want to do with it, we'll make sure it stays nice and tender and moist inside. We're going to wrap that bad boy up in some tin foil and stick him back on the grill. Pork chop will be ready momentarily. All right, now we're going to put a little bit of barbecue sauce on the pork chop. Show you what it is in a little bit. It's called Kinder's Organic Barbecue Sauce. And I use the hot version. And you watch the videos that I've been making. They all talk about jalapenos, cayenne peppers, and how much we like hot stuff in this house. So just gonna throw some of that on there like that. Just clip it. The way I do this, I don't do, I don't leave it where it can be wet, and I don't caramelize it, because I'm cooking only at 300 degrees, and what I'll do is I'll watch this, and once it starts to dry out on the outside of the pork chop, we'll take it off. Since I keep talking about Garnet the Greyhound, the young lady that's getting the chicken breast, the young lady whom I since I keep talking about Garnet the Greyhound, this is her. This is who we cooked the chicken breast for. So she got a little cone head thing going on because she had some ear surgery last week, but come Monday she gets her stitches out and she'll be back to being a regular sleeping greyhound without a cone on her head. All right, so we got the barbecue sauce on. I was telling you it's Kinder's Organic Barbecue Sauce. Hot barbecue, it's not really all that hot. Uh, it's got a good flavor to it. Not advertising, just it's good. So if you watch this video, see if you can find it. I was able to find this at Kroger. Now, look one more time here. Ooh, that's looking good. That's looking good. I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit. Right now, you can zoom in and see it. All right, everybody, the cook is done. Go ahead and take everything off. Pork chop off. Turkey leg off. Let's take a look. When you see the pork chop, I'll show you the turkey leg here in a little bit. All right, there it is. There's the turkey leg. Here's that pork chop. Let's cut into that pork chop, take a little taste. A 
Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. How's that thing taste? Mm-mm-mm. Mm. Boy, that's a good pork chop. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, y'all. That closes it out for this edition of Grilling with Granddaddy Daddy. Hope y'all enjoyed it. It wasn't no fancy cook. It was just normal, regular old grilling around here. Uh, got to cook for Garnet the Greyhound. Got to cook for Mama. And I got to eat too. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please click like, subscribe, share it with your friends. If you really enjoy it, click the bell and it'll update you whenever we put up a new video. I'm going to try to try to put up one or two a week. But anyway, we'll see y'all at the grill next time. Grilling with granddaddy daddy.